Hello folks and welcome back to the final installment of House of Ashes. When last we left off, we ended up getting attacked, or well no, we had to creep in through this secret pit or layer of some kind, discovering that perhaps what we are up against isn't quite what it seems. And I'm sorry, but my wife is looking up freaking dice again. So, anyway, we need to talk to some of our crew here before we speak to Salim. Let us have a word with, uh, Jason. Hey, look at that, I remember to take the big cam down. Because, you know. I wouldn't give to see daylight again. <clears throat> daylight and a cold one. Rachel. Yeah? I'm sorry for your loss. Eric was a good man. He was. Jason's pretty uh, straightforward there. Wonder what Nikki's got to say about it. Competition's gone now, isn't it, really, when you think about it? Did I already look at this? Yeah, I did. It's the musical score. I'm just paranoid. Just checking to make sure everything's working. That they'll work. They'll work. Oh. I should have said it sooner, but um, I'm sorry about Eric's dad. Thank you. It means a lot. Rachel, I just want your hand. It's nothing. I'm just cold. Oh dear. Something isn't quite right with Rachel. What could it be? I think we all know what it is. All right, let's push a button. There's meaning here. It's a language formed from chords, musical scales, sonics. Mary was a pianist. She deciphered it. She thought these carvings represented the stars. Do you see? It's Cetus, the whale. We're a long way from the night sky. It's a mystery. According to the journal, there was only one scale of sound in the device. But Mary was studying it alone. I think there may be another. I'm going to need your help. What can I do? This console is too big to operate single-handedly. Right. So, we gotta put our finger on the thing. Move the mouse in the direction of the chords. Oh, there we go. I was making a proper hash of that. <laughs> oh, dear. haunting that is. Isn't that something? And Mary believed that these creatures were once peaceful. Their language was one of music. How could they not feel emotion? Then a tragedy fell upon them. Their great empire collapsed. Their music fell silent and they turned on each other. What happened? A sickness? A madness? What turned them from architects into killers? Whatever it is, it twisted them. Now they're creatures of hate. Animals. Dead things. With no one left to kill. So they slept. And they waited. They waited for us. 
Oh shit. dear. Rachel. He's not having a good time. And that is a white phosphorus grenade. Not good. Rachel, Rachel, Rachel look at me. She has it. It's inside her. Oh, man. Of something. Something was deeply wrong on that spacecraft. I'm sorry. This is not your fate, Rachel. Not doing it. You ain't got the bottle for it. They came from the stars. This isn't their home. It's an ark. She's turning into one of them. I'll put her out of her misery. Oh Hold boy. Her fuck down. There's gotta be a way we can't lose her. There's no other way. Hold her down. Don't do it, Jason. Jason. Don't do it. I have to put you down. No, you can't do it. It's Rachel, man. It's me, Jason. Please, put down the gun. Rachel, no! <laughs> yeah, I forgot I can hold that now. I don't have to tap it. <laughs> you were going to shoot me? The hell were you thinking? I was the only one that was thinking. Wait, wait, may I suggest something? Fuck, man, just say it. There may be another way. The fluid in the cocoons. Oh, shit, I think I know where you're going with this. What's she talking fluid. about? Fluid, it keeps the flesh alive, but it stops the aging. A man covered in this fluid, he should have been dead, but he was alive. It kept him alive. If we can get Rachel in there, it could stop this. Are you for real? It could stop her from transforming. The cocoon will keep her safe until we return with help. It's our only hope. Uh, let's do it. Just do it. Anything to stop this. <sighs> Come on, fellas. There's going to be quite the drag underneath. <laughs> just, you know, just push her onto the freaking rocks, mate. Go for it. Yep, don't step in that shit. Right, dunk her in. Probably not head first, though. Those explorers had the right idea. You need to kill every last one of those things. Jesus. That is weird stuff, mate. 
I swear. I'm coming back for you. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh my god. Cocoon Vault, 0457 hours, depth 3,521 feet. That's a lot you know of what them. I'm seeing? <laughs> Those mounds are made of cocoons. Thousands of them. If we set the charges there, they'll all burn. Oh shit. We gotta move. Quick. Okay, listen up. We've been hit hard tonight. We lost brothers. Rachel's gone. So's the Colonel. But now, it's time to get some payback. We plant charges on as many of those clusters as possible and then detonate them remotely. The second those charges go off, we haul ass to the exit. If luck is on our side, we'll do more than fry a few vampires. Oh Great my god. My hands are getting sweaty. You ready? I am. Okay then. Let's get loose, kids. Okay. Who's going to place the dynamite? Alright, fuck it. I'll do it. You're crazy. We'll do it together. Nah, the more of us down there, the more chances we'll get seen. Take the detonator. If I don't make it... Nick, hear me out. If I don't make it, I want you to blow those charges. Just don't go getting trigger happy on me. Every step of the way, you keep in radio contact. And if there's no radio signal? Then I'll pop a flare. You see it go up? You hit that detonator. Be quick and be safe. You hear me, buddy? Oh, hopefully. Woo okay. <laughs> this bit is freaking intense. You know what, right? It was easier not knowing what was going to freaking happen, let me tell you. <sighs> okay, we are Salim. I can't make it out. There! There's one ahead of him. To his left. Nick, the cocoons are hatching ahead of you. You gotta move fast. First dynamite is down. Over. Which way? Left or right? Right. Oh shit. Oh god, I don't want to mess this up for poor Nikki. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I chewed on which way to go when I did this before, but I went advance, and that's what I'm going to do. But I, I botched it because uh, I, I was too impatient to see what was actually going on with the checks, and it was a heartbeat, not a freaking 
uh, quick time and I, too easy. I pushed the button <laughs> and got him killed. Uh, so I'm going to see if I, I can get him to live. Oh, no. <clears throat> what is it? There are too many. He's a dead man. Sweet baby Jesus. Look at the fucking black ones. The, 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 Wait. The little shadow ones. <laughs> what will warning him do now? There is no way out. Hey, how's it looking up there? Tell him. <sighs> Tell him. They're all over you, man. Hundreds of them. Means you've got the boss to tell the truth. I'm sorry, Nikki. But this, or what happened at that checkpoint? It's a war, Jason. Bad shit happens. Can't help. <sighs> oh shit! Right here we go. Okay, I'm blind now. Oh my god! No! I hate these ones. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. hero this time <laughs> last time we got absolutely gutted I think the only way I think the only way to save him there is if I had him retreat oh well at least I got to see something a bit different. Oh, God. <gasps> no. Oh, shit. No. No. Oh, my God. No, Nicky, no. Hang tight, Sergeant. We're on our way. Oh. Get off me, you son of a bitch. Are you 
with me. She can go down to four hours. Nick, I need you here, Nick. Come on, hold on, Nicky. That's it! Salim! Yes, you fucking legend! I got you. Oh my god! Oh, mate. Oh no, Salim, no! Where the fuck is Salim? Oh no, charges were a godsend. Feels like this whole damn place is coming down. Salim, he's still alive. Salim, come in, man. Are you there? Oh, tell me I didn't just trade Nikki for Salim. What's there to think about? We go back down there, we die with them. No way I can make it out of Longies. Come with me. He ain't one of us. Nikki. You're wrong. Salim is one of us now. Marines don't leave their own behind. You hear me, Selene? If I don't make that, tell my son I did everything I could. Tell him yourself. I'm coming to get you. Okay, things have just gotten different. I'm completely blind again. Yeah! Oh shit, I fucked it! No! Oh, we're switching over to... Oh, okay. It. No! Jason! Yes! <laughs> Fucking hero Salim! Go! Can't believe I botched that epic mag Seriously, drop. They just throw that thing at me. I did. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Semper Fi! Oh, mate! Unfucking believable. Those things were all over us, but me and Celine busted through them like it was the last down of the goddamn Super Bowl. <laughs> Listen up. We're not out of the woods yet. What I see in front of me, you're the best. Fuck that. Best of the best. And we will get home. Ooh, Rob. <laughs> oh, bless him. 
Oh, wait. Uh. Oh. Nick, caves, 549 hours. Depth, 629 feet. Oh, fine. Rope to salvation. Oh, we're out of here. Uh, Jason. What's up? Oh, shit. Oh, dear. Fuck. Oh. Got a little bit of a tussle. Okay, what's it gonna give me now? Oh, down you go, bitch. So long, Clarice. Didn't know how to stay dead. Time to leave. Time to leave. Oh, oh man. Can we please leave this freaking temple of shit now? Oh my god. We can get out. We just have to climb. I still want to know what's holding that thing to Slim's back. <laughs> Hand of Deliverance. Ah, the sun. Finally. Safe from those bloody things at last. They don't, they don't like the like sun. It. Why aren't they coming up? Don't like the sun? <clears throat> oh, they wouldn't know that, would they? Because I only know that from a tablet that I saw that they don't like UV Still rays. With me, buddy. <laughs> we got two alive. Very fucking ready to go home, Marines here. This is Bailman 2 1 Actual to Coyote 2. Radio check, over. This is Coyote 2, solid copy. Evac units are being prepped. ETA 5 hours, wait, over. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. We fucking did it! Look. Look around you. It's so quiet. It is. Hello, sunshine. <clears throat> Am I happy to see you? <laughs> I must return home to my boy. He must be worried about me. 
I'd say so. There's a problem. A fucking solar eclipse. Oh no. My sentiments. Not again. <laughs> Not again. Oh, my days. What's the sun back? You tell me, I don't know shit about space. Oh, sun God. Back. That would have been the genius man's fucking Eric's uh, expertise, I would imagine. But he did. You are not taking Salim. Push those motherfuckers back to hell. There's too many of them. I'm almost out. Fuck what we gotta do. Yeah, uh... Flares! <laughs> Where's the ammo? He's a fucking flare! Fuck it! We'll use what we got! Here we go! <laughs> right! It's been interesting knowing you. <laughs> interesting? Oh my god, to say the least! Okay, we're up Nick first, come on. Oh, oh. Go on, Nicky boy! Yeah! Alright, Salim, you're up next, come on, buddy. Oh, come on, come on, Salim. Yeah. They don't light the fire. Come on, Jason, we got this. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, come on. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Oi! Come on. Oh, it went for the double left. No, right click rather. Oh, the double right. Oh, good thing I figured out my left and right earlier on. <laughs> Go on, Jason. We're back at Nick. Oh, with an axe cock left. Oh, and the bee stick. Get out of my house. Um, sunshine. <laughs> Burn. We did it! Yeah! Oh my days. 
That was mental. I need to see my boy. You do, Salim. A souvenir. Salim, wait. Good luck, brother. You wish Zane a happy birthday from me. Thank you, Jason. Goodbye, my friend. That man's going to be sleeping in the sunshine from now on, let me tell you. Beaten, exhausted, that man has the balls to walk through the freaking desert to get home. What a legend. They've had enough for one day. Clear. Freedom. Returning to base. Oh, man. Aha! Well, I didn't get everybody out, but I've still got four lit. Freely they stood who stood, and fell who fell. Not bad. You've guided some of your charges to the light, while others have fallen to the darkness. Survival often comes at a great cost. A cost that others sometimes must pay. I look forward to our next encounter. Perhaps I'll choose a story that's a little more homely next time. Somewhere you'd be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. Rest assured, wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard to leave. Until the next time. You know the way out. Farewell for now, curator. Oh, man. Epilogue? You'll give me the epilogue? Then... There we go. Look. 
You're late, and you look like shit. I just got off the red eye. What's your excuse? How do they even I know what they look shit like? Shit movie, shit meal, no leg room. They cram me in the back? By the toilets. Nice. Coffee wasn't so bad, though. Good fucking muffins. Did you read the brief? <laughs> On the flight. How's it going with the analysis team? The ISG team took heavy losses, but it wasn't a complete disaster. We just had to scrape some of them off the floor. Poor bastards. And the entities? Like nothing we've seen before. Cool check, Jason. First Lieutenant, Marine Force Recon. <clears throat> best of the best, huh? Or so they advertised. Fuck! Now how many times do I have to keep telling you the same damn story? I understand. However, SETCOM needs to iron out any irregularities. Such as? The whole fucking thing was irregular. Such as why you allied with an enemy combatant? You weren't fucking there! Those things were ripping us to shreds. I don't give a damn who it was. We needed all the help we could get. I stepped back into that hell to save Salim. And that man was worth five of you people. Semper fucking five! Yeah. And Colonel King? What about Colonel fucking King? How did he die? He led us all the way to hell. Hell burned him up. I, I actually they prefer that. cooperated with an Iraqi soldier down there? Republican <laughs> guard, if you can believe it. Must have made a hell of an impression for Kolchak to go back for him. I'm dying to meet this guy. Yeah, well. Nothing to show. He walked. The hell's that mean? <laughs> by the time the extraction team got here, he was gone. Fucking A. He across the border by now. Sneaky son of a bitch. Now I see why Kolchak enlisted his help. The analysis team are still pulling specimens from the site. It's carnage down there. They used dynamite? We don't know how they got their hands on it. No, 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 I'm done. I told you already. It was a city, a goddamn city full of those things. There were cocoons down there. Fucking thousands of them. How many organisms were still alive down there? Too many. Oh, for all his sake. They're all fucking burdened. This is like Winterfold all over again. Uh-huh. Interesting. Yeah. And here we have Colonel Eric King, our in-house genius. He definitely got more than he bargained for. Those two were married, right? In the loosest sense of the word. That's quite the love bite. It's a damn shame is what it is. The colonel had a lot more to answer for. He certainly Six did. down to Kalis. It mistook the temple for Saddam's weapon depot. Piece of shit system. I wouldn't say that. It's been a big find for us. We've been lucky. This is your definition of lucky? <laughs> they left Rachel King at the site. She's been recovered. And the parasite? Extracted. Lucky girl. We still on for next Sunday? Janet's making hot pot. You bet your ass we're on. Oh my god. I'll never get used to this job. Why would you want to? At least this one was localized. You know, small blessings. So, what do you make of it all? Doesn't matter what I think. Only thing that matters is controlling the flow of information. As far as the world knows, not a damn thing happened here. Typical fucking Americans, mate. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll have none of that. <clears throat> oh, you want to yeah. know what it means to be a killer? Yeah, why Think not? The most profound thing you've ever done. <laughs> the most beautiful thing you've ever created. Jesus. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. You can only imagine. To feel them pawing at you for release. <laughs> to hear them pleading, begging. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist.
I've left my mark on the world. Huh. Have you? I can't wait for that one. That's so sore-esque, mate. Oh, nice. The season one finale. The devil in me. Oh, my days. So, anyway, I had a theory that I was mentioning in the last episode. It's probably a blatant one. But I do wonder the, if the aliens that crashed onto Earth, they were normal uh, in respect to them being an alien life form. But I'm wondering, did they bring the parasites with them? Or when they crashed, did the par uh, were the parasites already on Earth and had infected them? Because not all of them showed signs of the gnarly teeth and what have you. And obviously a lot of them didn't look like the bat thing, or look like the bat things that we were fighting. Also note that the human ones, uh, especially the guy from the freaking 700 years ago, uh, that uh, we ended up killing at the end there, and uh, uh, Clarice looked nothing like the bats. They just ended up with teeth and horns. So, whether or not there was further mutation there to be ha uh, to for them to have gone through or not, or whether or not those bat things are just the product of what the aliens would have looked like under infection from the parasite. Uh, leaves uh, much uh, to be explained, I dare say. I do like the concept, though. And I, I tell you, th this game is far and away the best one out of the uh, the the three that have been released. Uh, I mean, I like the first two, um, Man and Medan, and Little Hope, but this one, damn, I you actually, I actually gave a shit about the characters in this one, especially right at the end there, you know, trying to get Salim, Nikki, and Jason out of there. Yeah, I want too fussed about Rachel, but you know, I mean, it was a shame what happened to Eric. Would have been uh, nice to see what he goes through, sort of like towards the end there, but. Um, and I quite like the epilogue to this one as well, with the whole science team. And uh, I'll be interested to find out if we find... Uh, find or It'll be interesting to see if we find out what happened at Winterfell uh, that the scientists were talking about there, or if it was just another weird uh, phenomenon. <laughs> anyway, folks, this has been House of Ashes. I've been vaguely sane, and I hope you have enjoyed this game with me because i certainly have y'all take it easy and i'll catch you all in the next one Bye bye